The exhibition is something I've wanted us to do for a long time because it's a bit frustrating. We rack our brains all day to make instruments that are as high performing as possible, of the best possible quality, and in the end, we don't even see it because it's hidden behind casings. And we often notice that people who saw the inside of the instrument would say, but it's beautiful. So we thought, well, let's give people access, let's show what's inside, because we're very proud of what's inside these instruments, which took thousands of hours to design. So we chose to go with a chassis made of recycled aluminum, which is manufactured uh, in the north of France in a foundry that also makes parts for uh, race cars. So it's, we're really talking about a very high-tech component. It's the most important part because it's the one that you know, connects the different components together. The aluminum chassis serves to protect and ensure the rigidity of all the parts that are attached to it. And uh, this notion of rigidity is very important to guarantee precise aiming, good tracking and long-term performance. One point that's already super important in optics is reflections. It's something we really try to minimize as much as possible. And so on Vespera, we chose to use a tube made of black anodized optical aluminum. And this has a simple effect. There are no reflections inside the optics. The motor block section is really a fundamental part of the instrument. Uh, and what's the goal? It's very simple, to ensure the best possible aiming and tracking. The key really lies in this crucial worm screw and gear system right here. So uh, the gear is carefully made of bronze and the worm screw is precisely made of steel and it's a specialized steel alloy that's widely used in mechanical transmission systems, specifically designed to be exceptionally durable and highly resistant. Uh, so this allows for tracking that over the years will always remain at the same consistent level. Here you can clearly see a gear wheel. We've switched to a POMC system, which is a very rigid plastic. This means there's virtually no noise when using the instrument, which is much more pleasant when you're out in the field. We're coming to a part that's really important, the pressure spring, which isn't necessarily very common on astronomical mounts, and actually it serves several purposes. The most important thing is to have accurate pointing and good tracking to ensure a quality instrument. The other aspect is thermal expansion, because in winter temperatures are colder and the material contracts, which can create play between the two, the worm screw and the gear wheel. In summer, on the other hand, it's warmer, the parts expand and they can end up pressing against each other. Having a pressure spring simply allows the system to constantly adapt to changing conditions. Mm -hmm. 